the following past paper question reads that the relative atomic mass of an element can be determined using data from its mass spectrum. So they have given you the mass spectrum of that particular element. The mass spectrum of element X is shown with the percentage abundance of each isotope labeled. So these are the these are the different isotopes. Uh, there's an isotope having a value uh, having a mass of uh, 74 and the percentage abundance uh, remember the vertical uh, axis is the percentage abundance is 0.89 percent then there's another isotope having uh, having a mass of 76 and the percentage abundance is 9.37 similarly another one having a mass of 77 percentage abundance 7.63 percent uh, there's a there's an isotope with a mass of 80 atomic mass of 80 that has the highest percentage of percentage abundance almost 50 percent so the mass spectrum is given and the first part of the question uh, wants you it wants you to write down the definition define the terms relative atomic mass and isotope so we need to define what relative isotopic mass atomic mass is and the what is the definition of an isotope so I've uh, written down the definition. Uh, remember, CIE uh, wants uh, perfect definitions. They need to use certain terminologies. Uh, the definition of relative atomic mass is that it is the average mass of one atom. Remember, it's the average mass. It includes all the isotopes. Uh, you take the average of all the isotopes according to their percentage abundance. So it's the average mass of one atom compared to one twelfth the mass of a carbon twelve atom. So, so those masses are calculated in comparison to carbon twelve atom. And similarly, uh, the definition for the term isotope is that they are atoms of the same element having same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Now, moving to the next part of the question, uh, that part states that use data in the mass spectrum to calculate the relative atomic uh, mass AR of X, give your answer to two decimal places and suggest the identity of this element X. So I'm going to use this formula for calculating the relative atomic mass, which is that I'm going to sum up, sum up the percentage abundance uh, and uh, the product of the percentage abundance and the isotopic mass divided by 100. So previously I was uh, given a graph where uh, the percentage percentage abundances were given for example this isotope over here having a mass to charge ratio of 80 had the percentage abundance of 49.61 percent so I'm going to I'm going to multiply the two values and sum up the products of um, products and divide that by 100 that would give me the average relative atomic mass of all the isotopes so I've summed up the product of uh, the percentage mass into the isotopic mass. So it's 0.89 into 74. That's the first one. Then it's 9.37 into 76. Then 7.63 into 77. Then 23.77% into 78. 49.61% into 80 and so on. And I've divided everything by 100. If I do that, I will get the relative isotopic mass, uh, relative atomic mass, which is going to be the average of all the isotopes. And the answer that I'm getting for this calculation, it comes out to be equal to 79.0421 uh, 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 That is the average or uh, that is coming out to be the average atomic mass for this particular element X So I need to write this answer. I actually ha I was supposed to do this working over here the AR is coming out to be and he wanted uh, the questioner wanted the answer to two decimal places so I'm going to round this off uh, the AR of X is coming out to be 79.04 uh, so two decimal places at 79.04 and in the next part the question also wants uh, wants us to figure out the identity of this uh, element X if you look at the period table, 79, this round, uh, let's round, round this off to, it's close to 79. So the closest element I could come up with in the period table is uh, selenium, it's SE. Uh, that's the closest element having a relative atomic mass, which is close enough. It's 79.0 in the period table, but 79.04 is the closest. So selenium is the answer. Uh, that should be the identity of this element X.